welcome along and welcome back to Oak Hill. It is early winter and we are heading up to the shop uh, because, well, the ground hasn't frozen yet. So despite the fact that we have a load of snow uh, laying, uh, I want to have a play around and actually plow some snow. It's something that the se that season says uh, is, is the time of year to do this in winter. And uh, there's a couple of plows that I want to try out. So let's go and have a look in the shop. And there's a quite a range of plows that we've got in here. We've added a few in. Uh, the ones that I've seen this week, though, and really interest me are these. Uh, so we've got the PB100, which takes 200 horsepower. That is unfortunately out of the range of our current tractor. However, the PB100 5 furrow, which is about the same price, uh, that has, uh, has slightly less furrows, is only a 445 horsepower. So it would work with either of our tractors. And we've got a nice overhead with our current tractor in this. However... 5,451 in the black means we are not going to be able to lease this. So time to head over to our loan screen again. And it's, of course, our economy screen, but uh, I'm doing it to, to borrow a lot of money at the moment. We are at 655,000 in the loan. We're going to take up, that up to 665,000. We'll give us 4,548 to play with which is more than enough for us to be able to get this for a few days. So here we have uh, price if we bought it would be 22,000. No options on this five furrow plow at all. Uh, I think I might actually quite like to have seen an option between these two plows uh, where you choose a five furrow or six furrow version. Although I guess you have to extend the whole chassis in order to do the, the larger version of this. So, okay, probably wouldn't have worked. But £1,122 to lease this, uh, £200 per day. If it looks like the ground freezes uh, and we're not able to get anywhere near this for the rest of winter, uh, we will return this and rehire it in the new year. Otherwise, for a few days, it's just going to be worth having it stick around the farm. So let's lease this. Uh, yes, please. And there it is, our PB105 furrow plow. We're going to go and hook this up to the back of our Massey. Tend to be going for a lot of red equipment uh, on this game save. Uh, it's either red or black seems to be uh, where we're going. So let's just hook this up to the back. Like so. And uh, that is all the furrows on. Uh, nice transport mode on this. Really, really liking this. Let's head down to the farm and see if we can get this to work. We've got four fields on the farm that need plowing. Uh, we've got our two potato fields here, along with fields 66 and 76, which had the corn. Our grass fields could do with plowing as well, but we know that they should be all right without doing that. So let's unfold our plow. I want to get the wheel into the field. I also want to make sure before we go and lower this that we have uh, create fields turned off. Yeah, allow create fields isn't on because pressing Y will activate it. So let's align ourselves up here. And this looks like it is an in-furrow plow. So we will be getting ourselves into the furrow for this uh, down it goes and because the ground is not yet frozen uh, we're able to run this up the side and keep this going now why i wanted to use this tractor as opposed to our other one which we can use with this plow uh, is exactly this part of this field it is a steep steep climb up this first bit and a little bit of extra horsepower will only work in our favor with it. What I want to next to do is turn on GPS, uh, set our first waypoint, and then we will set the second waypoint, auto width, and hopefully that is gonna work a treat. And that should auto reverse. Let's check 
where we're actually set on our lines. So, uh, yeah, we've got a fairly good offset. It looks like it's set the width and everything fine. I'm going to run this for a little bit longer. Just long enough so that I can see that when I'm making my turn and when I turn my plow, it's going to give me what I want it to. So, come up to here. Back us off a little bit. Turn my plow. And then... Round and over here. Nice thing about this one is because it's running on a wheel at the side. So it's, it's like there are uh, larger plows that we've used in the past that are like this. Uh, this one means that we're able to uh, very easily turn the plow. It, it doesn't lift it off the ground. Um, are we? Yeah, we are off the ground. Good. We've got a little bit of uh, effect from this which is uh, interesting to see. It is a little bit more difficult to manoeuvre. Uh, I will say that, because when we're doing the reversing here, it's not so easy to get it in the, the same place, because we're we basically got a single trailer at the, uh, at the end. But that should do it. So set our course. Down we go. And back to ploughing snow. And uh, this is working really, really nicely. I like this plow a lot. That's just brilliant. I'm coming up to the halfway point on this field at the moment, and I'm really liking the combination of this tractor and this plow. It's an interesting and slightly different plow. We normally have this kind of plow really as a much, much larger piece of equipment in the game. So having a five furrow that is like this is, is quite refreshing. This tractor works really well with it. It pulls it well. It handles it uh, absolutely expertly. The weirdest thing about it, and I'll show you this now, is when you're turning it. Because this wheel here has to end up on the outside. And the way the plow works, it doesn't end up there that easily. We're slipping on the snow a little bit. And so you have to take quite a wide berth and then you spend a little bit of time sort of maneuvering things into position. However, because that wheel is so far out the back there and because we're sliding on snow, to be honest, it ends up sort of going in squirrely, strange ways and you end up with the bit like we've got there where we've not got this 100% coverage. So... Let's bring that in. And you can see there where it's gone a little bit outside uh, and therefore has not been 100%. Otherwise, I'm really liking it. And if you a little bit of practice and you can get that positioning fine, I think. But otherwise, it's just a really, really nice plow. Works well with a 175 horsepower tractor. Even on bits like this where we've got in this field where we've got a lot of slopes uh, and a lot of fairly steep slopes in places. Although, obviously, under this tree, not so good. That needs cutting. Uh, but, otherwise, it is... Uh, yeah, it's it's just worked wonderfully well for me on here. And been, uh, and been a really solid piece of equipment. I think this would be something I'd be interested in buying uh, as, as the farm develops and as we get more ability to buy equipment because obviously we're not there yet the only thing we own at the moment is our tractors and uh, and yeah and it's it's going well actually i tell a lie we own our trailer as well uh, and yeah going forward i think this would be quite a good plow in here will be interesting to see how it does with the smaller fields because those are uh, a little bit more intense and a little bit more fiddly and with a plow that doesn't always behave itself it's going to be an interesting piece of kit to use there is definitely an art in this to getting this plow to go where you want to go i think i've kind of got it at this point it's basically you get to the end here uh you lift you back off a little bit and you get it to start turning at this point and if you get it to turn before you do your turn you can see that wheel shifts around and it means that the plow itself is already thinking it should be turned and you get then a nice wide arc 
from the plow and you want to take a fairly wide arc with the tractor get it to follow it round see if it'll uh, see if we'll get there and then when the plow gets kind of where you want it to then you do your sharper turn and bring it into position works most of the time uh I also have to then kind of uh, reposition myself most of the time as well. Just back a little bit. The snow isn't helping very much. It's a case of uh, I slide whenever I'm doing those turns. But you can see that turn there went a lot smoother than we were doing earlier on this field. Uh, and is a lot quicker. So, yeah, I'm hoping I've got this cracked now. And that when we get to doing the smaller fields like field 62 we should be in a better position for getting those done efficiently coming to the end of the main part of the field in fact we may have gone a little bit further than i wanted to uh actually it's, it's not quite fully straight along this head, bottom edge so we've got to do the headlands now and we've got a fairly deep headland here in places so i want to keep myself going out uh towards this edge here uh, we're then going to go uh, from the other side and reverse this. So to try and keep these uh, a little bit more even. And so, yeah, it's a fairly wide headland here because we cut fairly deep into some of this. Uh, but that's fine. And yeah, we'll easily cover this fairly quickly. And it's you can see the tractor struggling a little bit with this hillside as it pulls this but with 145 horsepower requirement on this plow and 175 horsepower tractor we should be fine yeah there we go only trouble we've got is in this corner where we can't quite get into it so i might try and uh, see if we can do that a little bit pull this up around here and try and do a little bit of detail in the corner it is because of the way this tray uh, this plow works it is a little bit more fiddly to get into position than uh, a five furrow plow that you just fully lift Me very very much works better with more open fields this uh, than the other way because and and actually when you're not slipping around on a whole load of snow and ice as well uh, because that is just making manoeuvring really, really difficult. But we are able to do it. We can get this in place. We want to get this around this top corner. If we can just get it around the corner. We can then position it better. Hopefully without going into the hedge too much. Or through it even. There we are. And then we can take this across here. Like so and pull it around a bit and it goes a bit straight but that's all right and then i'm going to do the same with the next bit just to try and get myself into position yeah that hedge is done for there we go that's got it right and then i'm going to lift it and turn it and we can get the next section of this headland done yeah this is this plow not great for detail work i think i do prefer the five burrow versions uh with that and i don't think they require i think they require a similar sort of horsepower uh to this one uh but yeah this is this is a trailed turning plow uh it's gonna be less maneuverable because you are running on that rear wheel now we've turned to rain as we're just coming to finish this last headland and this headland should be easier than the other i'm actually going to turn this because it fits the shape of our field here a little bit better uh, to have this going out just bring this along here a little bit more there we go this is what i mean about trying to maneuver this into the right place uh, it is just fiddly with that wheel on the back. Uh, I think going forwards on here, while I like this plow, uh, and while it doesn't have a massive horsepower requirement, I think a, a five-furrow plow that we lift and have a little bit more control over might be better for us. 
bring this across it's a really dark day today on the farm uh, the rain and the snow and everything have not helped but we have got at least this job done now we may find that uh going forwards the ground is going to be too solid and too frozen to actually do this so yeah i'm i'm gonna see where we are sun is is already beginning to set at 12 uh, 20 to 1 uh so i'm gonna leave this here uh it's been a good tryout for this plow uh we'll see if we keep it uh for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye